driving to uh, check out the striker boat because I honestly don't have a system. I don't know how to store it. And it's raining for the past eight hours. And I don't know how much water has gone inside the striker boat. Okay, while that is tenderizing and cooking up, I want to go for a little walk and exploration in to the heart of Blackfish Hollow here. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do not feel, even in the slightest, that this property is mine because there's so much happening. <laughs> Every 10 steps, it's a different zone. I feel like it belongs to the earth and to the animals and that I am just the foreigner here. So I don't exactly feel confident venturing off because there's a lot of life out there that's more powerful than me. Every step I take, I sink like six to eight inches into the earth. And if I dig out of the way, it's just black soil underneath every step. And it's not raining anymore, but it is raining from my perspective because the trees are just dropping droplets during even the slightest breeze, which I can't feel because I'm in the belly of the forest and the air is just lifeless. It's just completely still, having been taken by the trees around me. And there's a stream that runs around the property, around the old road, the old forestry road. And it's flowing just lightly today, all the way around.
getting this thing done today. Made some good food lately. We have tons of leftovers in our glass containers that we've had for leftovers. So let me show you guys what's uh, just doing the Indian food with some sriracha on there. I'm throwing on there some avocado. Still got a couple left from MiamiFruit.org, my friends over there. Mm. I want to say a message about food. Make sure you guys are eating according to your fitness and activity level. If you're in a city, in a company, you're not moving, you know, you don't deserve to have as much food as somebody who's moving and working their butt off physically. I'm always adjusting my food to eat according to my physical activity level. So if I'm like doing computer work and working in an office and doing mental work, you know, I don't deserve to have as much food if I'm doing that kind of stuff. But if I'm out here working like crazy, I have been eating constantly out here. So I just can't stay fed. So I got two burritos already in my system. I got half this humongous avocado. I got all these carrots, potatoes, garbanzo beans, and I'm doing this apple. I'm putting sriracha all over this stuff. I'm trying to stay full protein with seitan. This is just field roast seitan. So I'm gonna roast two dogs as well. These are like 25 grams of protein per dog. So eat according to your physical activity level. Did you have any dreams last night? I did. How about you? I did, yeah, it was really weird. Care to share? Yeah, <laughs> um, not for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an audience dream? No. <laughs> All right, audience, you'll have to uh, join the private Patreon for the secret, possibly, probably sexual dreams that are about to come out of Nicole's little cute mind there. If you want it me. I now I'm familiar with the word hat channel and I've put all the hat channel up there which is just the supports that are going to hold these guys the roofing so I'm not going to try to race the rain and race the uh, the nightfall and get this roofing up Yeah. <laughs> Fail. Edit that out.
pictures. <laughs> what do you think? Delicious. Yeah? It tastes just like traditional Chinese food. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Very healthy, too. Mm. This is really good. See, even though we're roughing it, we still make some bomb food. We need table and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> we have no campfire today because we ran out of firewood and we're too busy doing projects to go get some more. And we can't cut any because everything's soaking wet like a sponge. Yeah. But this food is. This food's good, wow. warm. Thank mm. you. How's the carport coming? We are about halfway done, as you guys can see. Yeah, we're definitely getting it done today. I mean, mm. no doubt about it. We're pretty much almost done. For sure. <laughs> I hope. Why don't you bite my tongue and this, today. this vlog carries on for another day and we're like in the in the van. It's I'm not finished yet. <laughs> learning what a hat channel is, what a gable is, what a J trim is, and all these different jargons of this structure industry. Yeah.
right when we were leaving. Ah! It's raining on us. <laughs> yeah, look at the rain around us. Oh my gosh. ahead of the rain. I can't hold the camera still, it's so choppy. The seas were rough that day. <laughs> they set out despite the hazards that lay before them. They could see the clear skies ahead off the bow. But they had to break through the tidal shifts that were happening before their eyes. <laughs> so Whales are in the distance. Moby Dick, they say. But Ishmael pressed on. Vegan Athletes was his new name. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> Stay in the boat, Nicholistic. We'd be in our destination soon. <laughs>